What is up interwebs? My name is Daniel Santimama and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to enable the Hey Siri functionality on your Mac the easiest way possible. Now those of you familiar with the Hey Siri functionality know it's a way to activate Siri and then use Siri completely hands free. So you don't have to touch your keyboard or your mouse or anything like that. Uh, there's a lot of reasons you might want to do this, those of which I'm not going to go into in this video because if you're watching this you probably already have a good idea of what those reasons might be. But I've seen a lot of clever workarounds for this because the Hey Siri functionality is not natively built in to the current version of Mac OS, which in this case I'm running Mac OS Sierra. So what we're doing is actually more of a clever workaround to get a similar functionality. Now I've seen people do this using custom keyboard shortcuts or writing automator scripts, but really it's not as complicated as people are making it out to be and all those workarounds might work, but again, they're more complicated than they need to be. So let's actually get into the video and I'll show you the easy way of how to do this. And basically it all relates to the fact that Siri is actually an app um, it's not just like a feature that's built into the operating system like your notification center or like Spotlight for example. It's actually its own app and launching apps using dictation is actually very easy. So that's all we're going to do. So the first thing you're going to want to do is open up your system preferences. You can do this by clicking system preferences down in the dock, doing a Spotlight search or just hitting the Apple menu in the upper left here and clicking system preferences. Once you have system preferences open, you're going to click Siri we obviously need to make sure that Siri is enabled otherwise this whole thing is pointless. The next thing you're going to want to make sure that you have is a microphone input. Now if you have an iMac or a MacBook or MacBook Pro more than likely it has a built-in microphone that works in tandem with the built-in iSight camera so it'll probably say internal microphone but if you don't have one of those let's say you're on a Mac Pro or a Mac Mini something like that you need to make sure you have an external mic plugged in I'm currently using an external mic um, although I also have the internal so that's why mine says USB blah 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 but yours will probably just say internal microphone and that'll be fine but again if you're on a Mac Pro Mac Mini something like that you need to make sure you have an external microphone plugged in and working so the next setting we need to enable is in the keyboard section. So go ahead and click on keyboard and we're going to click over here into dictation. Now we're going to check dictation on and also make sure we hit the checkbox use enhanced dictation. This may need to download a couple of extra files and it shouldn't take more than a couple of minutes. So just be patient and wait for that to finish. By the way, you can also make sure your microphone is working uh, using this clever little visual element over here over to the left. All right, so the next step is we're going to go into accessibility and we're going to scroll down until we find the dictation settings. Now what we're going to want to do is check this enable dictation keyword phrase. So what this is going to do is make sure uh, it's going to enable the computer to constantly be listening to us and waiting for us to say this phrase. That's basically how Hey Siri works. And you can even uh, double check that by saying, uh, by reading this, use dictation commands even if you're not dictating text by saying the keyword phrase before the command name. So dictating text is basically um, how you activate it using a keyboard shortcut. So what this is saying is we're going to be able to use uh, dictation without having to do any keyboard shortcuts at all. So we're going to check that and we're going to enter the word hey. This is also an interesting time to uh, point out that you, you don't even have to use the words hey Siri. You can literally have it say anything you want as long as it's longer as long as it's longer than a single word, as long as it's two words or more, you can do any custom command you want. So even if Apple implements native Hey Siri functionality in the future, if you'd rather have a custom you know, phrase like, can you help me, or hey you dumb computer, or something like that, then you can do this workaround and it'll still work and you can have a custom phrase. But for now, we'll just do the regular Hey Siri phrase. So make sure we have enable dictation, uh, keyword phrase checked and we're going to type in hey or whatever the first letter or first word I'm sorry of your com uh, custom command is then we're going to go to dictation commands and we're going to click this plus button over here you don't necessarily have to have enable enhanced commands uh, selected I do it's not super important um, but we're going to do a custom command that's the thing that's going to enable it to work so we're going to hit the plus bar and then we're going to um, name this command Siri there we go, Siri. And we're going to make sure it says any application and then perform. This is where the magic happens. We're going to hit perform and you don't really see anything that relates to Siri down here, but it's actually under run workflow. And again, you don't see anything that really tells you anything about how to get this to work. But again, it's under other. And again, since Siri is an app, all you have to do is scroll down until you see Siri. 
Siri.app and say open. And now you'll notice it says perform open Siri.app. So whenever I say hey, followed by the word Siri, it's going to open Siri.app. And it's that simple. It really is that simple. Uh, once you do that, by the way, it's going to uh, activate this little um, uh, speaker or microphone icon up here. Um, and it might not refresh the keyword, it says required keyword phrase computer. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually just going to say listen without. I'm going to make sure that's checked. And then I'm going to um, hit done and then redo it. So now I've that's kind of like refresh the computer because sometimes you have to do that. And now it's saying required keyword phrasing. So now if I say, hey Siri, you see how it came up right there? That's pretty cool, isn't it? And I'll show you, again, you can do a custom command. So if you don't want to say, hey, Siri, you can say something else. So I will change the name of the command. Again, go down to dictation, uh, dictation commands. And I will say, I'll change it to you dumb computer. All right, so let's test out the new keyword. Hey, you dumb computer. <laughs> It's kind of clever how that works, isn't it? I, I don't think it appreciates being called that, but oh well. It's all for fun, right? All right, so ladies and gentlemen, that is how you enable the Hey Siri functionality on your Mac. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Uh, hit the like button if it helped you so that other people can find this video on YouTube and enable Hey Siri on their Macs. And uh, you have a wonderful day.